Welcome back to the channel. It's Martin here. And in this very special video, I want to talk to you about how to keep blood sugar level stable as a type 1 diabetic. Now, I believe that if you have stability when it comes to blood sugar levels, your life is going to be a lot more easier. It's going to feel a lot more normal. I the biggest problem and what makes type 1 diabetes so damn difficult is dealing with sugar level fluctuations, having these roller coaster sugar levels. I'll give you an example you eat something, your sugar level shoots up, two hours later, you come crashing down, you have a low, then you eat something to correct that low, and then your sugar levels go high again. There is no stability there, and that's what makes this disease so hard. If you don't have stable sugar levels, okay, this video is gonna show you i'm going to give you some tips i'm going to give you i'm going to show you exactly how i go about keeping blood sugar levels and i'm going to do that in two ways one i'm going to show you just my lifestyle i'm going to i'm going to i filmed a little vlog when i was in miami and i'm going to show you just my day how i go about my day to keep blood sugar levels stable like actual footage of me going around miami wandering miami and then after that i'm going to go and give you three keys that help me keep sugar level stable now watch this video to the end it's going to be packed out with value and my goal is to give you the knowledge that I wish I understood. I wish somebody told me this, okay? Early on in my diagnosis with type one diabetes, I felt what made it so difficult is not understanding what I needed to do. I wanted my life to go back to normal. I mean, I still have to inject my myself with insulin, but normal in the sense where I can live a, a life where diabetes doesn't interfere with everything I do when it comes to going out and enjoying myself like I did in, in, in Miami and, and being with my brother. If I, I feel like if I didn't have the control I have now, it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to enjoy myself. And I want you to live not just survive with type 1 diabetes. I want you to thrive with this disease. And this is why I'm making these videos is because I want to show you that it is possible to live a, a good, happy, and joyful life despite having to deal with the complexity of this disease. So hopefully this helped. And remember, the part one is going to be just the lifestyle of me uh, in Miami, a day in Miami wandering around with my brother. And then the part two after that is going to be me giving you three uh, keys that I do to uh, keep blood sugar level stable. So yeah, hope you enjoy. On my way back walking for the rest of the remainder of the run I like to do a little warm-up and then a little cool down my knees are a little they hurt a little bit but overall it was a good run enjoyed it enjoyed the view now I got to go back home take a shower and get ready for work so let's do it
we are finishing cleaning the apartment because we leave today so we got to get everything clean and after we clean we're gonna go adventure miami one last time fortunately we're leaving soon i was just getting used to it i was getting used to the warm weather now we got to go back to cold new york <laughs> got some coffee took some pictures and now we're gonna go fly a drone look at some art yeah continue to enjoy this beautiful Monday there we get to the it is hot I'm gonna be honest with you, it's hot. I can't tell if this is sweet or unsweet. It has a very unique taste. I forgot what kind of tea they said it was. I said unsweetened. So I'm gonna take her, her word for it. I'm gonna make Lucas try it and see if he can figure it out. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna ask him if it's sweet. Oh, I dropped the camera. Oops. What do you think? It's good. No, sweet or unsweet? It's unsweet. It has a very unique taste, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. All right. Good. make that up. Wow. Cheers. So the plan was to make a video here, but it's not going to happen. It's way too hot. I was going to make a video outside, but it's not going to happen. It's just too hot. So I'm going to make the video that I was going to make. And also we were flying a drone and it was too windy. The drone almost we had a whole problem with the drone. <laughs> I didn't put that on. A lot was going on, but sugar levels are normal. And I want to make a video. My goal is to make a video talking about the importance of learning how to keep stability in your sugar levels. So life, so you can feel a normal life again. And that's the most important thing. I want you to feel normal. I want you to be able to enjoy your time. In my case with my brother, I want you to be able to enjoy those moments. But hold that thought, I'll talk more about that when I'm in a better environment to do so. so. Hello, how are you? We just came back to the apartment, now we're cooking some burgers. Then munching on some pistachios to make sure my sugar levels stay normal and also because i'm starving we're cooking some burnt Oof. That's 
How's that? How is it looks? Apartment is officially all clean and we're all packed right here. Welcome back. And after that, it was boring. I went to my uncle's house and stayed there and I didn't want to just film everything. So for the most part, you saw what a day in the life looked like. And I just want to show you and, and tell you some of the things that I, I, I do to keep that stability. And the reason why I wanted to show you first before I talk is because I feel like I'm not, I'm saying this out of someone that understands what it's like to live with this disease. Okay. I'm someone that constantly has to be thinking about insulin injections and uh, this, I'm not reading this stuff off a textbook. This is my actual experience. Now I realize through coaching other type one diabetics that the more focus somebody puts on their diabetes, on their blood sugar levels, the better they are going to be at controlling it. So I want to give you some tips, all right? And number one, the number one tip, okay? And you probably won't even hear this and in, 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 no doctor would ever tell you, but the number one tip is you have to make sure that your long acting insulin is dialed in perfectly. Your blood sugar levels are never going to be stable if your background insulin, your long acting, or if you have a pump, your, where your basal is set at, it's your, your blood sugar level is not going to be stable if that number is not good. And what do I mean by that? If you're, if you're, long acting insulin is set too high, right? And if it's set too high, there's, you're going to have lows. You, you don't need anything. You don't do anything. You're going to have lows because that number is set too high. Now, if it's set too low, then you're constantly going to go high. The, the, the key is to dial that number in very good. So you can go on runs and not have to deal with lows because you, because you have too much insulin in body. In this case, I went I, and, and, and when I was in Miami, I walked fif over 15,000 steps and I wasn't going low because my long acting insulin was set in good. That's number one. I don't think a doctor can tell you your ratios. I believe it's impossible for someone to tell you your ratios unless they're they're literally going through each and one of your sugar levels daily. I believe you have to really know your body. You're, you're the pancreas now, and you have to understand how to be the best damn pancreas you could be for yourself. And that requires very good long acting. You have to really learn your long acting to gain that stability. I remember I worked with one client specifically, and she, and she said, I'm having lows. I have to walk around with juice boxes. I can't even go here. I can't do anything because I, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, it's so much fear. Now, all she did, I, we tracked her sugar levels for a week or two weeks. All she did was literally lower her long acting insulin just by a little bit. And she stopped having these random lows and she felt stable. That's the power of long acting. So that's tip key. Number one, whatever you want to call it. Number two is nutrition. As you can see in the video, I was eating very specifically and I was eating certain foods that were going to help me keep stability. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. You might not like to hear this, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. The way I eat, I eat in a specific way. I made a lot of sacrifices. I don't eat certain foods, certain carbs to be specific because I rather have stability than the enjoyment of food. Okay. I rather have stable sugar levels than eat a piece of bread and have to deal with the fluctuations. And, and you can see in, in the video how I, I ate at specific times. So for the most part, I went on the run. I didn't eat anything. My sugar level stayed stable. Then I, I did work. I didn't eat anything because I didn't want to have to deal with insulin and, and eating. And I, and I wasn't hungry still. But when I did eat, I ate almond breaded uh, milanesas. That's what it's called. In, in, I don't, I'm not too sure what it's called. Milanese, I guess it's called in English. I ate um, almond breaded, not regular white white breaded, like white uh, regular breading. 
it was almond uh, flour breading. And the reason I did that is because almond flour is easier to control the spike. Now then I ate, I was drinking coffee after I went on a walk because I know coffee tends to spike me a little bit because of the caffeine. I also put some uh, milk in half and half again to for the stability so I can go on the walk. Then I had tea and then I had a burger. And again, the food that I'm eating plays a big role in my stability. So you have to understand that nutrition plays a big role when it comes to if you're going to go enjoy yourself, you rather eat in a certain way that helps you enjoy yourself instead of making, oh, well, this tastes so good. I'd rather just eat the food. And then, you know, you have to deal with the consequences four hours, two hours later with the constant fluctuation. All right. So number one was make sure your long acting is on point. Number two is your nutrition. Use nutrition to keep stability. And number three is gain confidence in your type 1 diabetes and your blood sugar levels by tracking, okay? And how does that help with stability? Believe it or not, stability comes when you understand your blood sugar levels and you understand your blood sugar levels by tracking your blood sugar levels, okay? That's the only way you're going to become an expert at your own blood sugar levels. Not by just like random guessing, it's by taking the time to track everything. Write it down. Okay, I, I ate this, this happened, I stayed stable, I went low, I corrected this way, I went high. And the more you track, the more your mind focuses on what you're actually doing and subconsciously you're just gonna get better and better and better and better at keeping the stability. You're gonna know what to do and you do that with tracking. And I'm always, I, I always say, tracking is the most important thing because that's what builds that awareness. And stability, sometimes we get in our own way. Sometimes, yeah, our blood sugar levels are gonna hover around 100, but we say, oh no, I'm gonna go walk. That means I need to eat something and spike my sugar levels on purpose because I don't wanna deal with the low. And again, that it's because of the lack of understanding. And the way to gain more of that understanding is by tracking, is by taking the time to say, okay, well, it's it's two o'clock right now, I ate this, I injected this much insulin, and now I'm planning to go on a three hour walk, let's say, whatever, I'm just putting examples. What what What's gonna happen after that three hour walk? Am I gonna go low, am I gonna stay stable, I'm gonna go high? Now, the more you do this, just the better you're going to get. The more stable, the more stability you're going to feel. And the more confident, the more normal you're going to feel. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this was insightful. I hope this helped you. And again, I want to see you thrive with type 1 di diabetes, not just survive. I want to see you become the best version of yourself, even though I know this disease is hard. But I also know you have the power within you to, to be the hero of your story. Okay, not the victim, not the, not the one that... That, that, that falls short, but the one that actually achieves everything that they put their mind into despite having to deal with type 1 diabetes. So again, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also your feedback means everything to me. Please leave a comment. Let me know you're listening to me. Let me know if my content is useful, helpful in any way. And I hope to see you on the next one.